So guys, welcome in this session. I'm going to cover array and uh, function. So first of all, let me give you uh, some idea about uh, array or function. Then anything you can do in any order doesn't matter. Let's talk about function first. When you do programming, right? When you do programming, why we need function? Function is a set of instruction which you implement in order to execute the same code again and again. Hey, why you write function? Who will tell me? We are using a code again and again. Why we write function? In Java, we say method, not function. Why we write method? Because we want to execute same, same code. code. Yeah, same logic. Yes, Why we logic. write method? Because we want to execute same code again and again, again and again, right? Right, right. Then, so definition is very simple. In Java or any programming language, right? When you write some method, there is syntax of it. What is the syntax of it? Hey, people, you just behave like you are teaching me, right? I am not teaching you syntax. What, sir? Return type. Every method must have return type. Method name. Help me. Return type. What? Return type. Method name and you can say argument or parameter. Right? Yes, arguments, yes. Arguments. And then method definition. Or parameter. Or yeah. parameter, right? Yeah. See, curly bucket open and close is called definition of the method. Sure. This. And this. Called. This is called. Definition. Definition. Hey, anybody is there who does not understand all those things? Please just be honest. I am telling you. This is big batch, okay? Of course, I will try to track everyone, right? With the help of my helping hand. He will come soon, right? But, you know, if you don't understand any, any point of time, let us know. Simple as that, okay? okay. I want to write a method which can return integer right and cube method name is cube and it is going to take only one parameter this syntax is clear i'm confused clear hello everyone what about new guys confused uh, yes what's confused. Con what confusion sir tell me tell me so what are you trying to do here actually i am trying to write a method method name is cube it will take this input right and it can perform some operation like integer temp equals to x into x into x. Hello? And in last, it will return the value of temp uh, to the caller. Can you see this? Hello? Yeah. Yes. So here, what, the, what this method is doing? It is taking one input x and x it is multiplying three times storing in the temp and returning it so when you call it right what do you have to write cube parenthesis open and close and here you can pass the function five five right so what yeah. happened five will go to the x five into it's five, five into five 125 eventually uh, you know at right side you have to declare the variable which can hold the value so hold is going to hold what you can print this system dot out of Intel and halt. Fine. Say yes, you got it or you got confused? Uh, Nagendra sir, some sound coming disturbing. I think. Is 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 for everybody or for you only? Yeah, I don't know. Still still Am coming? I yes. No sound over here. For you only. I can. Uh, yeah, I think we can hear clearly. Yeah, it's clear. I can hear you. There is yeah, no yeah, issue. Maybe I can check. Okay. Okay. No problem. Hey yeah, guys. Your internet. Hey people. In my session, you have to be honest, right? If needed, I can plan some extra session for you. So here, what I'm doing? Like here, I'm I'm giving definition of the method. What? 
Here is what. Tell me. I am giving what man? Definition and method. Definition of the method. New people, you have to watch my recording two times. All the recordings, right? All the three records. This is third session. I'm giving definition of the method here. And here we I'm calling it right. See, when you design the car, once it is designed, then you drive it, right? Similarly, right. here I'm designing this method. After that, I can use it. So I'm saying, hey cube, I want to call you, but I want to pass five to you. So once five goes to the input to it, it's multiplying five into five into five, right? Temp holds 125 and eventually you are returning it. Are you following me? When you return it back, this value you can hold in a variable, right? hold. And when you print it, what value it will print? Um, 125. Anybody have any question query, especially uh, my new batch, uh, the, the people who just joined today? Anybody is getting any difficulty, please? No. 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 Smart people. So this is how you write method in Java. I can give you some example. Anybody have any question query? No question query. Please ask questions, right? This is yeah, yeah, this, 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 this method is uh, return type with integer, right? Yeah, yeah, you can write anything. You can write integer, character, double, yeah, float. Yeah, that, yeah this, this method is integer return. Yeah. Every method must return some value, even white, right? Yeah. White is also written type. You are saying, hey, method, you can return a white type. White means nothing. Okay, so every method return a value. Value. Yep. Done. Even it is white. So I have done with the method. You can, I can show you some example of the method, right? Let's do that. So let's, let's make our hand dirty. So you guys know, right, how to make a program in a, Eclipse is the editor, which can give you the capability to write the program in Java. My dear friends, here I'm going to make my first function. First of all, write a class. You know this, right? Yeah. Function yeah. demo one. And every uh, program must have main method because main is the starting point of the program. Is clear to you? Mm -hmm. yes. Public, static, white, main. White, I'll explain no. you. Public means you can call from anywhere. Static means no need to make the object of it to call it. White means, hey, don't return anything. Main means uh, this is the main method, which is starting point of the program. Oh, no. Main is always starting point of program and this method is fixed you cannot change anything to it right it is public static wide main only you can change the variable name okay papa you know papa right so hello this who calls the main method don't say again okay who calls main method answer to me jbm uh, jbm and uh, JBM does not directly call. JBM actually has a main thread. What man? JBM has main thread, right? And main thread calls and main thread calls main method. For to start, to start program execution. Please. If you got it, say I got it. Otherwise, say no. Mm -hmm. Got it. Got it. Here you can print some message. System dot out dot print ln. System is a class. Out is a, an object of it. Print ln is the method of the out. Please mute yourself. Here, what need to say? When you do, hey papa. Or you can say hey dad. Eh? So yeah. when you run it, what it will do? It would say. As it is, hey, Dad. Anybody have any question, question so far? See, uh, if you watch my first recording, uh, this editor uh, compiles your program on the fly. Compiles means it will first of all check the syntax of it. Second, mm -hmm. it convert your source code into Java bytecode. Let's do some syntax mistake. See, 
then you can put your mouse on it. It says syntax error on token public. Public expected. Oh my God. You see? It's saying, hey, can you write public? Oh my God. This is magic editor or not? Magic. Yeah. This is magic editor. It's saying, hey, why are you doing mistake? How dare you? Hmm? Your answer should be, man, you talk to your program, okay? Simple. Program is how you can do this kind of mistake. You would say, hey, I'm new to it. I can do mistake. And mistake is done by fill in the blank. Smart mistake people. is done by mistake. Simple is that. <laughs> this is the definition of the mistake. Mistake is the done by mistake. Simple. If you do some mistake knowingly, then it is not mistake. Remember it. Done. Okay. So main is a method and main one method can call other method allow me i can write another method a integer q it can take one parameter right what integer or x clear then what then what i'm supposed to do in the definition i can take some temporary variable you can take any name to it tempa x into x into x into x i multiplied how many times three times three q where and return it because this method is returning is saying at the end of the day after completion of my code i am supposed to return some integer value okay see this method is static i'll tell you later why static method can call only other static method what yes sir one comment comment one static method call it other call one uh, static method can call uh, other static uh, method only mug it so that's why static if you want to call it what you can do you can use method name parenthesis and you can pass input to it like two and when you call it you pass two it will return result eight output you can write here integer output right hold the hold result right mm -hmm. after that you can print it wow right message output is make sense plus so this is this will print as it is plus output it is going to print the value of it people if you have you run it you will get the output of it output is going to be uh, eight done anybody have any question query especially new people who join this batch today please do not worry don't be scared because for these guys Already I took three sessions for old batch. This is fourth session, but recording is there. You, you can watch it. Hmm? My new people, I'm worried, worried about you. I'm very worried about it. If you have any question query, don't be shy. Ask questions. Okay. I'll, I'll, uh, hmm? someone, someone is saying something. Yeah, I have a question. Do you hear me? Yeah, I can. Okay, so question. So, here is the main message. Can you come close to mic, please? You hear me now? Yeah, I can hear now. Okay, in the main message, after don't hear. I don't hear. When he said, Can you hear me? It is very loud. After that, <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. So in the main method, you wrote something as a pop-up. What does it mean? This is the variable name. Variable name could be anything. You can write papa, mama, uncle, whatever you want. The main method, main, sorry, the main method, it's not, it's not arc. So it's... If yeah, it's yeah, you, can, you can write arcs. People write arcs, but I write something else always. If you change, is there's is no there problem. any use of that one? Yeah, yeah, this is basically used to take command line argument. That is in my agenda. I will teach you. This is basically used to take command line input. Normally, when you develop your server applications, you need to pass some customization parameter from the command line. For that purpose, you can use it. I'll show an example of it. Then, in again, I, I got a question. Yeah, please. Uh, you doing this calculation outside the curly bracket, right? Like you printing it first, like print. No, no, no. It's not. It's not like that. Actually, How this is uh, this is this is another logic, right? You can write anywhere. 
you can write uh, on top right can you see this this is the comment right you can delete it this is also comment you can delete it comment i'm just writing so that uh, it can help you to read the code yes you follow me so in java this is one block of code method this is another method right logical separation main can call cube and cube can call main as well but okay okay you can call main as well you can do that okay huh. one function can call okay. sorry here don't say function say method because in java everything you write inside the class when you write everything inside the class that is called method, method. when you write outside the class uh, the same thing it is called function but java does not allow to write this outside the class that's why it is always known as method Anybody have any question query? Please. No. Let me write. Okay. In Java, there is a there is a data type that is called a string. Okay. So if you can understand, this is great, right? Mean e like a string is. It is a data type similar to integer string is a data type uh, variable name and here you can uh, hold mr now again is clear yes so this is called a string data type a string data type basically holds a string our string is also known as array of character i will teach you the array right string is also known as any guess array of character characters yes. and if you print the str what it is going to print mr nagin and you know right who is yes done then sir you have to make small small programs okay yeah now, one one question nagin please sir uh, yeah, what is the difference between printing something, Mr. Naginda, directly and uh, printing by creating the variable name? Yeah. Actually, very good question. Here, I am holding data in memory so that I can perform some operation on it. You see this? Hello? Hmm? Plus? So, what happened now? In ST, we have Mr. Nagendra, and you just prepared Halu. Then you are printing it. So, your your question was, what is the difference between printing it directly and uh, holding in a variable then printing it? Clear? So, if you want to perform some manipulation on it, you can hold in a variable. Then you then you can do some manipulation and print it. Otherwise, you can pass directly to over here. Make sense? Yeah, makes sense. Let's run it. Nice. Now I'm going to make a program. E, my 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 new people. I'm worried about you only, okay? Because these people, old people, means three days older. These people are enough smart. Why? Because they took my session. Just kidding. Yes. Okay. Next program, I need to show you how to take input from the keyboard. 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 To mug it, right? So, agenda is please. If I'm teaching fast, right? All that I'm teaching bad, whatever. Please let me know. It's okay. I'm going to teach you how to take uh, input from the keyboard. You mug it for it. This you can mug it, and later uh, we would be able to understand. Slowly, slowly. If you want to take input, uh, first parameter you have to use is import first statement. Sorry. Java dot util dot star mug it small letter. Huh? After that, you can write a class. Class name is Amoga. Okay. And here, what you have to write first, sir? Math question. Please. Uh, you, you are uh, first uh, uh, first level. You import Java dot util dot uh, star semicolon. Uh -huh, yeah. semicolon. Uh, this, this means uh, 
we are import uh, all Java class inside the uh, program application. In this, I am going to import all the classes present in the util package. I will teach you package everything right down the line. Mm -hmm. What is the uh, util package uh, mission mission? In this, we have a class that is called scanner, which is used to take input from the keyboard. Let me write it. Okay. What we have in this, in this package, fill in the blank. We have a class. Let me write it. In this package, we have a class scanner, right, which mm -hmm. allows user to take input. Take input. Just get it. We would. Just get it. Board. Ah. Just get it. No, no. no. <laughs> in this package, in this util package, let me write it. Util package. We have a class. Mm -hmm. Scanner. Okay. Which allows user to take input from the keyboard. I'll show you. First okay. of all, write a method public static wide main. You can't change the spelling of it. And uh, inside, you can write anything. What, what you can write, sir? String Argument. mean. This, this is also correct. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Here, you can write three dot also. Dot, 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 dot. This is also correct. Fine. Okay. So whatever syntax you write, like it. And here, just make an object of mug it scanner. You can write any variable name new scanner. You have to mug it, right? Scanner, okay. yes, capital. Variable name could be anything equals to new scanner, mug it. And inside that, you can pass system.in. System.in means address of the keyboard. Okay. So SC is connected with what? With this system.in, which is nothing but keyboard mm. till you please let me know this is pointing to keyboard make sense after that uh, here you can print the message what man system dot how dot intel and sp enter knee uh, enter each right so when you enter the age, right, your age will go to the uh, scanner, SC. Then you say, hey, SC, what? Give me the integer which I just entered using this, this method. SC dot next INT, any small I capital. So this will give you what, man? Whatever age you have typed, yeah. it will return to you, okay? Yeah. So I don't know. Using this this thing, you have to mug it because once I teach you the object-oriented programming, then you can understand the thing better. You can say age equals to plus age. This program is clear to everybody, or you got super duper confused? Easy. Okay. Like here, when you type something, your data uh, when you type even on the keyboard, your data will go to the SC. You are saying, "Hey SC, whatever number I just typed, return to me." Next INT means whatever number I just typed, return to me. Okay, and you are printing it. So this is the code, uh, code which is showing how you can take input from this code source. How you can take input from the keyboard. Yeah. Sir, any question query if you have, S guys. In my session, if, if you're not asking question, I'm telling you. Can you revise one more time, sir? Sure, sure. I like this kind of questions, right? You should have this much confidence to say revise it, please. That's good. Again, I'm telling you, if you want to take input from the keyboard, first of all, you have to write this line and just type it blindly, okay? Mug it for today. Then we wrote public study wide main method. And I said in the command line argument, you can use either square bracket or you can use dot dot dot. And then I'm creating an object of scanner. How? Scanner class. Hello. And scanner class, right? 
right here is scanner is scanner sc is a variable name you can take anything a b c d e s c whatever and here system dot in is pointing to keyboard yeah. in this way your keyboard is connected with sc yeah. Yeah. Right. right system dot in points to keyboard hello yeah so when you say enter the age, right? And you type it, type, type. When you type it, your data will go to the AC. And you are saying, hey, AC, whatever integer I just entered, please return to me. Got it? So if you enter yeah. here 10, 10 will go to the age and you are printing it. So output would be age equals to 10. This is clear to everyone or it's, it's confusing? Still yeah. confusing. See, recording is there. You can watch it, right? Can you show it on the console, sir? I Are can you? show you on the on the editor. Thank you. E, sir, when you type it 10 times, it thing would be easier for you, okay? So what I'm going to show uh -huh. you is scanner demo. Class name, you can give anything. You see my speed? Import. Your answer should be, it's not your speed. It is speed yeah, of well, edi uh, editor. Same yeah, well, that util, that util, dot that star. star. Semicolon. And then you can write the main method. Yeah. Create an object of scanner. I'll teach you all those things. Okay, much much detail. Here you can make an uh, uh, scanner. SC e. new scanner. Scanner. And here you can write system. Dot, that, it will e, come e. only by the practice. Okay. That, Nobody that, can remember the syntax. See how enter age. And when you enter the age, it will go to the scan SC and you can say, hey SC, give me the integer uh, whatever I entered, right? Just put age, and then you can do here. He, your age is. Hmm? Any guess? This one. And Not you save your program. After saving it, uh, right click on it and say run a Java application, and you can see the output. Like here is saying enter the age. Can you see this? Here is asking. Mm -hmm. I'm just entering 21, right? So it is saying uh, it 21 goes over here, then it's saying, hey, your age is 21. This program is clear to uh, you people or you got totally confused? No, I got it, I got it. Got it. Actually, actually, I have a question. <clears throat> uh, after creating a new object that is scanner, uh, uh, which is stored on a variable that is SC, uh, and then we, uh, we, uh, we print out message uh, message that is enter the age and and I don't understand how this will automatically uh, save uh, that data into the SC variable. That's my actually question. it is it is actually it is designed like that. When you do new scanner, it is listening to the keyboard. When you type something, immediately it goes to it because it is listening. A scanner is listening to what? System dot in. Dot Are in. you following me? So when you type anything in the keyboard, it will go to the SC because uh, SC is connected with system dot in and system dot in in is connected with keyboard. That's not it. Enough. Make sense? Yes. What What if we type some character instead of uh, integer? Actually, if you type some character and you are trying to read integer, it will cry. Okay. and it will give you the exception input mismatch exception i'll teach you exception handling much much detail later for example if you type a1 it will give you number format exception over here you see i'm sorry input mismatch exception input, input mismatch. is not uh, matched means uh, you are giving input uh, as a string but you are mm -hmm. trying to hold in a integer, integer. Okay. And okay. this exception is one of the, my favorite topic, which I will cover in Core Java down the line. Got it? Done. E, especially new people who joined just today. How many people are there who does not understand all those things? Please just be honest. If you'd be honest, I can plan something for you, okay? And anyway, we have recording. You can go, Aryan. You, you don't understand anything, Aryan? Arbin? 
Please. I understand like what's going on, but I'm I'm not fully satisfied with what I'm understanding. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, have yeah. to go back to See, recording and then. Yep, yep. You can watch recording ten times and just type in the editor because it's all about mugging. Okay. Okay. So please. And try to speak in the session. If you anybody have any question, don't type on chat. You can ask. Hey, again, can you tell me this? Because in this few people are only there who can ask the question. In my session, people afraid. I don't know why. Uh, let me write another program to compute a factorial of a number. What man? Factorial. Factorial. So you see my speed, right? I need to write scanner. That's fine, man. After some time, you'll also have this kind of speed. Okay, not a big deal. But the speed you have to make like this. And here you would say what? Enter number num please. Teaser num plus two. Sc dot next. I it's clear to you. Yep. If you want to uh, compute the factorial, you have two approach of it. Either you can write a method or you can directly write the logic over here. First of all, let me write the directly logic over here. Hello. If you want to compute the factorial of a number, you have to use for loop. A, a new batch, you know for loop or not? For loop is basically used to repeat the statement. It has three section, initialization section. Hello. And start with one and go up to number new batch what do we need to do here you can put one and multiply what man sum equals to sum into any guess x hello everybody what yeah. i'm going to do is one into two because in for loop first of all this will execute and then it will go and compare it if a number is five it would initialize two and two and is less than five, right? So it will go and say it one into two. Then value of x will be increased three and three is less than five. Then it would say one into two into three and so on. It will go up to five. Make sense? Mm -hmm. In last, you can say what? Factorial of number is? Some. Number is, this is the message? Here you can write some. So when you run it, what happened? Whatever input you will give, it will take from the keyboard like five factorial of five is 120. Similarly, you can run it again and uh, try to find the factorial of six is 720. You got a point? Same program. You see my speed, sir? I'm able to make the another copy of it, right? Same program you can write with function. Function means you can write static, return type integer, and fact. And it can take how many input man? Only one, one input. One number. input. And uh, this logic, right? This right. logic, you can cut it and paste over here. And last, you can return sum. You are saying, hey, hey, hey method, you return the value, okay? Then you call fact method over here like this and pass the number. You got the idea difference? This is uh, written the same thing, but with the help of function. Are you following me? Done. E, what is the difference between that program and this program? Here you wrote a method, you will pass input and it will return the uh, factorial of it. And later you can print it. Fine. So first program is without function, second program with with function. Any question query if anybody has? Hello? Nope. Especially new people. No worries. And I'm telling you new badge, new people, don't take tension. If you have any problem, I'll share my WhatsApp number. You can buzz me, okay? Okay. And if you come to me, definitely I will help you. Otherwise, you can come in the session and you can say again, he only he talks like this. He, he never does like this. Please, you're most welcome. Okay. At least try to reach to me. What my point? Okay. In Java, there is a variable, right? How make the variable using data type like integer x? X is a variable which can hold what? Integer. Integer value. Let me write it. X is a variable 
here variable which can hold <laughs> what in type data but it can hold only one value at a time right but this variable what what is the limitation of it this variable can hold only a one one value at a time please x is a variable which can hold e here we have x and later you can make it 20 so why it is called variable because x value can be apply why x is called a variable its value can be changed yeah it uh, can be changed uh, x is a x is a variable variable since its value can be changed that's why so you understand the variable mm -hmm. and what is the limitation of this variable who will tell me this variable limitation is saying hey i can ho hold only one value at a time yeah limitation of variable hey, first of all cry i can what hold only one value at a time confused are you understand what i'm saying hmm? it's good right okay now solution of this problem is array right the solution of this issue right array array is a concept right which allows you to create a variable which can hold multiple value what its concept which allows to create a variable a variable which can hold multiple values at a time hey what is the benefit of it using array what you can do you can make a variable which can hold a multiple value let, let me do that so i am going to show you what man how to declare array variable how to declare declare array type of variable anybody have any confusion or you got it got it if you want to create an array of so you can use integer and of course x but you have to use bracket mm -hmm. Bracket means you bracket can be anything like bracket can be here, bracket can be left side, bracket can be integer side, bracket can be in middle, it could be anywhere, right? And new, and here you can write integer and you can say how many uh, how many uh, data you want to store. Can you see this? Integer or a type of variable x and new, you are just making uh, how many how many partition of integer type? Five. 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 So if you show the memory representation, uh, you can show like this. So array is a basically collection of uh, contiguous memory which can hold multiple data in a variable. Actually, in this case, it is divided into the partition like this. And when you make the array like it, initially all the element will have zero zero value. What value? Zero zero and zero. And every wow. block will be represented by some number. Like first one is by zero number, one, two. You got two. it. Start with. Three. Actually, in array, all this indexing block number is uh, starts with zero. Zero. This is fine. If you want to assign some value to it, <laughs> what you can do? For, suppose in zero block you want to assign ten. What you can do? Uh, x array operator uh, zero, yeah, right? zero and you can say 10 so what happened this 10 you are going to place inside fuse no you are saying here array at your zero position i want to hold this value similarly you can make x of one i just make minus 10 so what happened 
minus 10. What is a confused? No. Similarly, you can say people reply. Got it. 90. So here you can make 90. Index to is 90, right? Yeah, yeah. A 0 to 3, right? In case of, oh, I'm sorry, it would be 0 to 4. Here you can write 5, 6, and x of 4. Uh, you can write 96, please 98, whatever. So in this situation, it will be uh, overridden by uh, 56. And this zero will be overridden by 98. Makes sense or you got confused? Similarly, you can print the value as well. How many? System dot out, out, out dot print ln. And here you can print uh, x of zero. Zero. Like this. X of one, x of two, three, four. Anybody have any question query? Is clear? Clear. Hmm? Let me show you one last program for today. And after that, watch my recording 10 times and come back tomorrow. Hmm. Sum of array. You see my speed? Yep. If you want to make the array, can you see this? Integer array variable name square bracket new. Here, like here, there is many ways to do it. If you want to create the array and you want to assign some value, can you see this? Yep. So you are able to create the array and you have assigned the value to it also. Can you see this? So this array, size of the array would be same as number of element. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? So what is size of the array? 8. Size of the array. Answer is 8. If you want to compute the size or length, you can use ln, uh, you can use this variable, uh, variable name and l l ln gth. Can you see this? So what it is going to print, man? The length of the... Yeah, length of the array, len equals to, you can print len and you can see it is going to print 8. 8. After it, uh, if you want to sum all the values of it, what you can do, you can use a for loop. You know for loop? In teaser, starting with x equals to 0 and up to x is length, right? Yeah. When it's starting from zero, so it should be right. less than uh, length. And you can use x plus plus. So if you want to print only all the values, so you, what you can use? Array, array. of x. Okay. So first of all, it will print zero, right? Similarly, uh, it will go and check the condition and, in, uh, and print it, right? x zero, zero is less than eight. So it will print zero. Then x plus plus, x value is going to be increased. This become one. One is less than length, right? If you go and do it, it will print what? All the element present in the array, like one, three, six, eight, nine, thirty, fifty, etc. If you want to find the sum of it, what you have to do? Integer sum. Oh, mister. Here, what you can do, sir? Print it, and after that, sum equals to sum plus. You can uh, add these values. Arrays. And here you can print it. What? Finally, sum is sum. Make sense? Run it. My dear friends, I think this is enough for today. I would say go and make your hand dirty. Sum of 1 plus 3 plus 6 plus 8 plus 9, 30, 50, 34 is this much. Okay, so I'm just, uh, you know, holding my session over here. Please go and just make your hand dirty. Make programs, type it. And then started to cry and come to me. I'll give you some sweets, okay? And you'll enjoy. So thank you so much for the session. See you next session. At the same time, same channel tomorrow.